Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough after getting the key in that pot to the upper right corner of that last room I can now go through here and by the way those critters that I've been killing off are called Zazax or something like that Yeah, it's not a really self-explanatory name considering their design anyway doesn't matter all you need to do is make our way through here and oh new enemy here see you can't attack that clearer portion there. I mean, well, you can try, but it's not going to work. But you can attack the nucleus thingajigger that it shoots out. So it's kind of like an enemy that you gotta put yourself... But I let that happen. Put yourself in the way of its issues and yeah. Because, you know, it always goes to a certain... Yeah, like that. <laughs> anyway, they're known as Gibbo. G-I-B-O. They're not that difficult. I'm just kind of showing you. What the heck's going on with you? Are you, like, stuck on the spiky trap? I think you were. And you know what I should do here? I want a new magic powder. Oop! Oh! Yeah. Hey. Hey, you. Give me a fairy. I don't want to go into low health beep mode. That is the most annoying thing in the world. Thank you. <laughs> uh, sometimes you can't tell if something's flashing, I noticed, in the recording. In that case, you might have not even seen that the, that a fairy appeared. And that has to do with the, the frame rates and not the actual... Uh, uh, game itself. It, it's just, yeah, it's, it's a thing of the frames. You're only seeing half the frames, I guess you could say, and then since it's flashing every other frame, and you know, they cut out half the frames during the editing, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> so, uh, stop, 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 okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you aren't actually missing anything, um, Per, per se, like, in my actual recording, it's just that when, when the, uh, um, ah, excuse me, I, I can't, I don't know how, I can't formulate this. <laughs> uh, what you see on your end is not exactly everything when it's flashing, but I'm still showing you what I'm doing, is basically what I'm saying, like, when I'm collecting a fairy, I'm still explaining that I'm collecting a fairy or whatnot, so yeah. Okay, so obviously when I switch the, uh, switch there, this is gonna unleash the hounds. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, uh, not, well, actually I could do that for, uh, I don't know. Oh, that little frog there is called Buzz, by the way. Um... Probably a safer way to do that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Or bomb it. Uh, you know, from a distance. But the reason why I want to do that is... Well, Buzz right here isn't really a, a threat, but... Um, and, I wanna, and you want to go in here. Yeah, I gotta get to that switch there. And I also want to pull this, just for kicks. I think that's a trap. Yeah, it is. <laughs> just like... The well. Uh, not the well, I mean the, the sewer system of the castle. Uh, uh, you know, actually, I sh probably should have. Yeah, I probably should have grabbed that. I mean, probably should have seen the uh, what they wanted to say. Mm, yeah, ha 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 ha. <laughs> That's all right. I could just repeat this. Not that big of a deal. That last room isn't really that tough. It's just a matter of positioning. Thank you, me, Zelda. Don't be deceived by the magic of Blind the Thief. Hmm, that name sounds familiar, doesn't it? Be careful. That's all you had to say, really? I thought you were going to hint at how to defeat Blind the Thief. <laughs> Guess not. Guess not. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah! Okay, we're well, safe. <laughs> and this room stays cleared out, which is nice. By the way, um, whenever you see a floor, bomb it. Trust me on this. You want the bomb every floor. That one, of course, doesn't break apart, but... It doesn't mean you shouldn't try bombing it. I, I'll, you'll, I'll, you'll know, you'll understand why when I get to the point. I'm gonna try this and this here. Just, oh! I just despawn my bombs by going, uh, by going to the next screen. I don't think you can break these apart. No, you can't. It's just a thing of trying it. Sometimes the floors and walls, you know, that, are, that have cracks on them are just detailing, as you might have noticed from the uh, first dungeon of the Dark World. Uh, this one probably not either. Okay, that's fine. We still have much dungeon to explore. Uh, but this is the first floor that you can actually break apart. As a matter of fact, they hint at it uh, because of the bombs here. Alright, flop it over there. And get some bombs to refill. Now, what, what's the point of that? Because, well, 
you can't get in there, but look at the light. Look at the light shining into that hole. Well, that actually changed something on the floor below it, and if you actually look at your map, that that is right below where the boss room is. What's the point of that? Well, you'll see later. <laughs> just, you just gotta do that um, ahead of time before you get there. Yeah. Does this still create the trap? Yes, it does! Interesting. <laughs> Okay, now, should I switch that switch back over? I don't think so, yeah, I didn't think so, because there's this block that was up on the other side. Alright, stop that, please. Alright, now this is, this leads to the room with the, oh no, this doesn't lead to the room with the dead end corner. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, this one is the one that leads to... Yeah, slow down. <laughs> yeah, this right here, this is the door that you've seen from the other side. Not that it's important, it's just something that uh, you might want to keep in mind so that you know where we are uh, in terms of the relation of the dungeon. And I, I probably shouldn't even bother with that door right now because I think the thing that I'm looking for is in the basement. If I'm not mistaken, so I probably have to go downstairs for this, most likely. Uh, I'd I would like that. Ah! <laughs> That worked out! That worked out pretty nicely! Alright, so... Alright. Plop that out. Get you out of the way. And get you out of the way. That opens that door. Eh. 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 Well, let me just put it this way. We can't do anything else here at the moment. So let's go around. And nor, we can, nor can we do anything there at the moment. But just remember those blocks for later. Remember, remember, but for now I'll go this way, <laughs> there be a key, and I don't think it's, yeah, this this upper pathway is to go back, that leads back to where that block was blocking the way, and just like the uh, castle, you know, first dungeon of the game, another similarity here, big keys will open up the dungeon cells just fine, and that means you can reuse it over and over and over again. Please don't bunny beam me until I'm ready. Okay, thank you. Because <laughs> I could not attack if he was still hanging around, and yeah. Alright. Oh, thank you very much! You saved my life! Please take me outside! Ah, you must be the uh, maiden that I heard about uh, from the outside. Remember those signs? I mean, not the signs, the, uh, the tree that talked about a maiden going, Ah! trapped inside the dungeon or something like that. Yeah, well, this is the maiden. <laughs> and now, let's go and uh, open this up. Oh yeah, it's the Titan's Mitt. Now I can pick up stuff that I couldn't pick up before, and yeah, I had to get out of here pretty quickly. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go back up this way and lift up this, because now I can. And this leads to this room here. Ah! <laughs> Calm yourself, Pika Gal. Just, just a room. Uh, wait, what's? Why did I? Is there? Hold. Is there any point to this room? What is this? A red herring room? Is it really? Um. Um. Because yeah, like you get the key, and you can't do anything with the key. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can come in here with the key, but as far as I can tell, this key is optional, just like those uh, last two keys in the uh, last dungeon. Okay, interesting. <laughs> and now I'm gonna pull this up just to show you what I meant about coming back, if you would like to. Yep, leads right through there. And now that we've explored every single place here, um, just to save you some time, if you were to say you were going to take this girl outside of the dungeon via the way you came in, um, you're going to notice that you actually aren't going to be able to do that. It, like, she's going to say, oh, I don't want to go out, or make some excuse she doesn't want to go out yet, and... Yeah, well, if you take her into the boss room, after uh, you bring the light into here... Yeah, you remember remember we bombed that floor um, back over at the... Uh, um, the, the, the room just above this, remember we threw a bomb into the place that we couldn't actually walk into in the room just above here, yeah, on the first floor? I'll walk into the light with her and- Uh-oh! Uh-oh! 
god, so bright! It's Blind the Thief! Yep, remember Blind the Thief? His weakness is light, well he hates light. <laughs> and yeah, you just gotta attack his head as best you can. And yeah, 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 oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Now we got a head going around the room! What should we do? Well, the head is invincible that's roaming around. It's it's a projectile fight more than anything, really. And, mm, mm, aha! Oh! 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 Ooh! Ooh! This is one of the reasons why I went and got the fire shield before I came to this dungeon, because it allows me to block some of the projectiles that would normally have would whack me, because it's hard to keep track of all this junk going on at once. <laughs> It's crazy town! Crazy town, I tell you! But I win! I beat crazy town! <laughs> and I got the crystal! Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Since I got a little bit more time to spread, I'm probably gonna do some overworld exploration as well. Oh, I think because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. As the wise men sealed the way to the dark world, the knights of Hyrule defended them from the attacks of evil monsters. I heard that the knights of Hyrule were nearly wiped out in that battle. You are perhaps the last one to carry on the bloodline of the knights. It is ironic that the last one in the line has the potential to become the hero of legend. Surely you can destroy Ganon. Why, yes I do. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Oh yeah! Woo! <laughs> All right, now that the dungeon is 100%ed, let's go and explore the world like I said I was going to. Now that I have the Titan's Mitt, we have a couple things that are open to us, including a delightful little sword upgrade, which I can get relatively shortly here. Uh, see this frog here? Let's pick this up here. Your body did not change. You are not just an ordinary guy, are you? I used to live in Kakariko Town. I wonder why my, what my partner is doing there without me. I have a request of you. Please take me to my partner. Please. Please. Alright, so let's go around here. And what we're gonna... Not that way. <laughs> what we're gonna do here is take him over to the swordsmith type area. And I believe I can take him just through the uh, magic portal with me and he'll transform back. Right, right, right? Is that not right? Yeah, I was correct. <clears throat> See, he looks just like the other swordsmith guy. That's because he is the missing swordsmith guy. And what we're gonna do here is go down said missing uh, swordsmith path of side quest. Oh, happy days, you are here again. You found my partner. We are very happy now. Drop by here again. After that time, we'll temper your sword perfectly. Can I, can you do it now? <clears throat> you're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome! Can't- I thought I could do this once I get you guys back! Hold on, let's reset these guys. You guys tempering? Uh-huh. Alright, there we go! <laughs> Alright, I would most certainly like you to temper my sword for 10 rupees, but... We won't have any sword for a while! Oh no! Oh no! So what can we do... While we are waiting for our sword to get tempered. Well, what we can do is learn to defend ourselves without the sword. <laughs> yeah, I think we got other weapons, we'll be fine. Um, what I'm more interested in doing though is going up to where the graveyard was and getting something from there. And now that I've got the uh, uh, Titan's Mitt. Well, actually, technically, you don't need the Titan's Mitt for this thing over by the graveyard because you can use the magic mirror. Uh, to get yourself snuck in there, where these dark rocks are, at the graveyard type area. I like how he's still holding on his arm even though that he doesn't have the sword at all, look at that! <laughs> anyway, over here, uh, if I do this right, you won't need the Titan's Mitt, so I guess I could show you that method too. Uh, see, it's right up here, right over there, and I gotta get myself in there by uh, picking my way in there via the plants. Um, 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 um... Can I, like, ram into these things without a sword? I can! Very interesting. Link's head is very hard. <laughs> Alright, so using this over here will allow us to do this. Yeah, now I can push this aside. Come on, let me... Let... That... Really? Oh! Now I'm stuck in an infinite loop, kind of. <laughs> 
Uh, let's try this again here. I'm gonna move the sparkle to the upper right corner here. <laughs> this is an awfully big puzzle to do without the Titans bit, I gotta tell you. Oh, come on! <laughs> try it here. <sighs> is this good? Is this good enough? Okay. Alright. Can I move this now, please? I thought I could move this. Or must I do this with... Eh. I am being destroyed by these guys here. <laughs> eh. I thought I could push this particular grave. Unless you need to get away from it before you can push it. What? I don't understand. Eh. Pushed like this? This is the grave I'm supposed to get the thing! I I know this is the grave! What are you what are you messing with me for, game? Why are you why are you doing this to me? <laughs> or the, or is it or do they want me to have my sword or something here before I'm able to do this? Because I'm pretty sure you don't need the sword for this. <laughs> Alright, let's try moving the magic mirror away from it, because maybe you can push the grave over because the magic mirror sparkle is in your way or something like that. Maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. I'm not sure of that myself in all honesty, but we're gonna see here. Uh, 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 uh. What if I... Uh, oh, okay, you do that. Alright. <laughs> That's what I thought. You didn't need your sword. I just forgot I was that kind of grave. It's the magic cape! What does it do? Well, it makes you invis invisible, but more importantly, it makes you invincible, too. But actually, more important than that, it makes you able to go through ob objects. And get out of my way, please. <laughs> Give me that hurts. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> All right, I showed you two ways of getting that now. That makes me happy. And now I am going to go down this way. And remember that pathway that leads up to Death Mountain? Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? Do you? Do uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! I don't have the sword. I'm I'm helpless, but I can't stun you. <laughs> I'm all right, but I am tempted to use a fairy or go to one of the fairy fountains around these parts, perhaps. Maybe. Wait, actually, can't I, like, uh, bang into a tree and get an apple or something around here? Yeah, you can, you can get apples and whoops, oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you can bang into some trees and you'll be able to get apples and they recover your health, like, sort of like hearts do. Uh, but it's only certain trees that give you apples. Hmm, perhaps this wasn't a good idea to do this while my sword is being tempered. <laughs> anyway, that heart piece up there is what I'm going to get here. Let me up, let me up! Ah, okay, that works. <laughs> Oh no, I'm already low on health. <laughs> oh, jeez. I feel so helpless without the sword. So, so helpless. Even though I'm really not, because I got other stuff, but yeah. Uh, I, I actually could use arrows, come to think of it. Uh, if you fall down here... Uh, actually, I shouldn't have fallen down here. Uh, I should use my hookshot to get across. Excuse me, I forgot about that, because that just leads back down here. Of course it does. I'm just being dumb. Whoop. Now we just go across here like that. And now you'll you'll notice that there's some bumpers over here. Now the reason why I went and got that magic cape first is because you're not going to be able to get through here without said magic cape. Use it, and you can go right through the bumpers. Look at that! Look at that! It's amazing! Yeah, that's a way to avoid stuff pretty nicely there, and that's how you get that piece of heart up there. Isn't that nice? And I just died again. <laughs> well, that didn't technically die. It's still have a fairy, but... Come on, man! <laughs> I'll go to a fairy fountain off-camera or something and, I guess, resupply on fairies, I suppose. Probably. Maybe. Eh. You know what I should do, actually? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just get out of the more dangerous world here and then... Warp ourselves back over to Kakariko because chances are the sword is finished. So, going back here, yep, and, 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 right, <laughs> back over to here, which will give us access to the upgraded sword of awesomeness. 
Your sword is tempered up. Now hold it. Woo! Great. Your sword is stronger. You can feel the sheer power throwing through your body. Yep. Level three sword now. Uh, can you temper my sword? Uh... Let's see. Yeah, you can't make it any stronger. Just wanted to see for kicks. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just drop by. Uh, enjoy. Have fun. It's a nice day out to be tempering, I guess. <laughs> so if you go into our inventory now, whoops, why did I do that? If you go into the inventory now, yep, there we go. Level three sword. Whoa! We're more powerful than ever. Only I use the fairies. <laughs> So anyway, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy. But wait, uh, yeah, I'll end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I do some more stuff. Probably some more world stuff. Why well, I said wait is because I, I, I can get something over at Death Mountain too, but I'll hold off on that until the next part. 